There's a free product called IR Fan View or Earfin View, and I often encourage people to use this product because it's so flexible, it's free, it's a very functional tool. But what we want to do here is create a batch resize. We're going to resize a bunch of pictures that are unmanageable. We're going to click on File, then click on Batch Conversion and Rename. And I like to use Batch Conversion and Rename the resulting files so that I do not overwrite my previous files. I may want to go back to the originals and I don't want to confuse myself. I'm going to go find the directory where I'm working. In my case, I've got a directory called My Work and then Clients and we're experimenting in Berkeley Bob and I've created a directory called triple w underscore ex all caps and in there I've got a bunch of pictures that I want to resize okay now there's a couple of things you can do here you could use this add all tool and that just adds them all there I have had problems with that in the past so you could also just hit your control button and your A button which would select everything hold your control button down and deselect the directory if you have a subdirectory there and then you could as a matter of fact if you select the subdirectory it doesn't really matter but you can click on add not the add all and that would add all those there however the add all button worked this time very happy there's a couple of options in here you can click on options and you can I, I tend to push this all the way to 100 percent you can save it at lower quality resolution in this particular case we don't need a low resolution picture we just need a more manageable picture so we're going to leave that alone and if, if you've got it automatically I think it says to 75 or 85 just pull that all the way up to the good side at 100 percent then I'm going to come in here and you see the advanced button click on the advanced button and in here we have a lot of options so don't don't get confused with this there's a lot of stuff you can do but all we're dealing with right now is resizing. So we're going to choose resize. We're going to set a new size. We're only going to set the width because we don't, we want these all to be consistent. They're all going to be the same width when we get done. 600 pixels wide. It's a more manageable size for these pictures. And we're going to preserve the aspect ratio proportional. We're going to choose that. That's pretty important right there. We're not going to use any of the other features in here. Okay. So all this cool stuff over here, very useful. At times you can really improve. You can do a batch change and, and gamma correction, saturation, color balances. You can make it a little sharper, a little brighter. There's a lot of really neat things you can do with this process, but we're only trying to resize these pictures to make them more manageable so we can upload them without sucking up all of our bandwidth. Okay, And click on OK, so that's now been set. You see the next thing down here, you see the name pattern? Um, I want to show you what that means real quick. You can click on options and it tells you that dollar sign in is the old file name without the extension. So if the old file name, for example, see right here, Audubon underscore breakfast underscore blend dot jpg, that dot jpg is the extension. So uh, dollar sign capital N is only going to give us the Audubon underscore breakfast underscore blend without the dot jpg. We're going to put an underscore and a triple W. I'm doing that because it lets me know that these are going to be the web friendly pictures, the smaller, more manageable pictures I'm making for my website. Okay? And click on OK. And want to pick the directory where we're going to drop these pictures. Now, I've already created a subdirectory called Triple W that's in the directory where all of my pictures are. So it'll be really easy for me to find them later on. And all I need to do is just go into my little directory listing thing here, right? And I'm going to go to the, the big primary directory that I'm working out of, which is Berkeley Bob. And then inside there, I had a directory called web www underscore ex. That's this one right here, the one I'm working out of. And I'm going to select that subdirectory, triple W, which is right there. Okay. So I've got that. No, I know where my pictures are going to go when I'm done. I'm going to click on OK. And so I'm done. Now I could use the current directory. I could just click in there. Click that right there, and then that would just change that directory to my current directory, and so I dump them all in the same place. That confuses me personally. I, I'm a little dyslexic sometimes. I don't want to do that, so I'm going to go in the directory underneath that. Okay, makes my life a little bit easier. All right, I'm going to start my batch, and so there I go. It's running through the process of 
resampling all of these pictures. It'll take a little bit. These are really large pictures. As a matter of fact, it might even slow down my recording a little bit, make some noise. Okay, so now all those 29 files have been changed. I can copy this to my clipboard so I can paste it. I'm not going to do that. I don't have any purpose in doing that. But it would tell me where these are. Click on Exit, and I'm done. Now, if I open up my file browser, I can go look in Berkeley Bob, and then look inside the triple W underscore EX, and then remember the subdirectory where I dumped all those files? There they are. There's all those files. And I'm going to double-click on this real quick, and that actually opens up that image. And you'll see that now I have it. It's, um, it's 600 pixels wide, just like I wanted it. So it's more manageable. And let's highlight over that. It's now 287K instead of 2 or 3 or 4 meg, which makes it a lot easier to upload. It happens faster.